Hi, grade six, back to drawing and measuring angles. This time it is with triangles. So if you recall this last lesson, I may have lost a few of you on it. So fasten your seat belts. We've got all our materials here ready to go. Now, we're gonna, first of all, just draw a triangle. Could be any random triangle, but then we're gonna measure those angles and make sure that every triangle angles totaled equals 180. So I'm sure all of you can make a triangle. So you can just make your lines. Make sure you're using a ruler. And then with each angle, you're just going to label them. So you can call this one A, call this one B, call this one C. Now off to the side, I'm just going to write A, B, C. After we measure those angles, they all need to total 180 degrees. If they don't, you need to make a few adjustments. So let's see how close we can get to measuring our angles. So we're going to measure angle A first. Angle A is a right to left angle. So if you remember that last video, or all the lessons I've taught so far, if you're going from right to left, you have to use the small or the lower, the lower numbers here. And I'm going to follow that line. And you can see it's smack dab on 60. So I'm going to write 60 degrees. By the way, I apologize. I'm on a desk that always wobbles. So when I'm writing, it sometimes gets a bit blurry. Now for B, I need to pivot my page. So I'm going to just pivot it around so that I can see B measurement. So I'm going to line up. And by the way, when you draw your triangles, you're going to have probably different measurements. So um, I'm just showing you with my measurements. So if I'm going to come here, line up to the vertex, I'm going to follow that line. And you see that it's between 50 and 60, a little bit shy of 55, but it looks like it's at about 53. So I'm going to come over here and write 53 degrees. Now, I don't have my calculator with me right now, but you can use a calculator to see what your measurement of C is by just adding these two up, subtracting it from 180, but let's see how accurate our measurements are. Now C is a left to right angle. So I'm going to line up my line, going left to right, I use the top numbers, because I'm going left to right, I use the top numbers, and I come up here and it looks like it's between 60 and 70, so it looks it's past 65, it looks like it's at 67. So I come over here to 67, and let's see how accurate this is, well this is 10, 6, 7, and then, yep, 180 degrees, it works out perfectly. So if you have measurements a little bit off, you will have to adjust them. Make sure that you are as specific as possible, okay? Let's draw another. Now, by the way, review. let's uh, review from what kind of triangle this is. If all of these have acute angles, well, that is an acute triangle. All right, a little bit of review when we made those geovore triangles. Now, we're going to come over here, and because we've made an acute triangle, let's see if we can make an obtuse triangle. So all you'd really have to do is just draw your first line, make some angle that clearly looks obtuse here, and then just join these lines up. Now we are going to put A, B, C, come over here and go A, B, C. This all needs to total 180 degrees. So let's see how accurate I can be here. Now I'm going to line up my bottom line with the vertex. I'm going from right to left angle, so I use the bottom number. So come all the way around. 
and I can see it's between 110 and 120. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a little bit past 115, so it looks like it's 116. So 116 degrees. So that's what makes this an obtuse triangle. So let's now measure B. Line it up with the vertex and the bottom line. It's going from right to left. So it looks like it's between 30 and 40 because we use the bottom lines. A little bit shy of 35, so it looks like it's actually 34 degrees. And there again, you can add those two up, subtract it from 180, and that should be our angle C. So if we come over here, line up the bottom line with the vertex, and we're going left to right, so we use the bot or the top numbers, and we're going to come up here, and you can see it's smack dab on 30. 30 degrees. So if we add this up, 6 and 4, that's 10, that's 2, that's 5, that's 8, 180, and bingo, bingo. That one is good to go. Okay. Now we have an acute triangle. We have an obtuse triangle. Well, what kind is left? If we were in class right now, I'd hear about four of you say, right triangle and I would say correct so how do you make a right triangle well you have a protractor so let's put a line here let's line up our bottom line with the vertex let's make a little tick right there we're going to clearly make this 90 degree angle so we already have our first measurement and we join up that so a, B, C. And I'm going to show you a neat thing about measuring a right triangle without actually even using a protractor. So A, B, C, total. 180 degrees. Now the only measurement we really need to do here is A, which we already did, which is 90 degrees. Well, if you have a 90 degree angle, these two angles have to be exactly the same. Well, what's left here? You subtract 90 from 180, you have 90 degrees. So if you take 180, subtract that, you will have 90 degrees. Well, these two angles are always the same on a right triangle. So we need to make sure that 90 is exactly half of that so that's going to be 45 so that's 45 degrees this is 45 degrees didn't even need to measure it but if you want to just check let's just do C for fun line up the bottom line put it at the vertex and you will see it goes exactly between 40 and 50 so 45 degrees so that is how you draw and measure triangle angles and they must total 180 degrees. So if you need to pause this video, try a few on your own, have fun, and I'll see you guys in a bit.